So lads, day numero... I don't know what 15 is. Day number 15. Day of Rakuidag. Or Law of Rakuidag. Um, we have got Max Day 2 back. And lads, it is day number 15. We're already on day 15, which is kind of berserk. So as always, the rules are we start from scratch. Once a player plays one game or they are bought to be a member of the squad, they cannot be sold. They play four hours each day. Look, we might as well scrap that rule. And there's also a challenge in every video to reset my MT back to exactly zero. So right now, it's hit 294,000 subscribers. I know we are less than 200 away. So it's probably going to happen tomorrow. But you never know. If you guys don't want to see me get packs, do it by 11 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. If you guys not even get packs, even get a card from the pack tomorrow, do it by then. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. Like I'm sitting here like, oh. Simultaneously, I'm sitting here like, oh, this channel has, um, like, it feels like it's just started, but it also feels like it's, like, this series taking on my damn life. It's 1.24 in the morning right now. I haven't started yet. So, um, my goal is I'm going to go two domination games, some glitch time games, and we're going to be doing some other stuff. So, that just kind of seems to be, seems to be a reasonable enough goal. Um... We just have so many random things to open, not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, <coughs> at the end of the day, we're doing all right. We're doing all right when it comes to, uh, when it comes to these, um, these challenges. Or sorry, what am I talking about, these challenges? This challenge, we've, we've done well. Like locker codes, no locker codes. Like the only difference the locker code has made is we got chat from it. That's it. Like if we would have everybody else other than chat if we didn't have locker code. Um, so we're doing okay. We're doing all right. But um, yeah. So we built a good squad. We got a lot of diamond contracts. Sitting here. We got a lot of gold contracts. These just like core quartz and stuff. I always look at these. And I'm like, oh, why? Why can there should be an open all button? Should be an open all button. But um, let's go. Our pink diamond, this is good. Really? Really the crap that with Jake, Drake Crowder yesterday? It's quiet, it's not bad. We had our pink diamond, didn't we? Yeah. So let's um, have the same anti climax situation happen. No, we got a dupe Kawhi. Shreddy Kawhi is not the only player you can get. Season 8 shoe pack. Hopefully it gets us something. Uh, I don't think any does matter. Not gonna lie, I don't think any does go for anything. Strength. Strength goes for a little bit. Max dead 2 pack. Like, I would love a LeBron. I would love a 60k rider. I would love a 60k. That is... Who was in Max Dead 2 that was... <laughs> I'm trying to think who was in Max Dead 2. I don't know if that's Diamond or Opal. I forgot that was going to happen. I completely forgot that was going to happen again. Max Dead 2... Like, Max Dead or Max Dead... Max Dead 2 especially. Just one of those sets that's like... Completely just just gone out of my head. I don't even remember what was in those sets. I genuinely, genuinely do not even remember what was in the maxed out sets. It was that long ago. Gerald Green, yes, 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 he was in there. So Jalen Green, Jalen Green was in there as well. They were the two diamond cards. I can't even remember who were the opals. Because it was LeBron and Magic Johnson was an opal, wasn't he? Yeah, Magic was one of the Opals. With Jerry Stackhouse, that's who it was. That's who it was. Okay, I can remember, just about remember that set. So this is all our empty in Purgatory right now. And again, we are 200 subscribers away, and I think I can get through tomorrow. I think I can get through tomorrow without being reset. So these things like Kobe's 81, 70 assists, these aren't too bad. These aren't too bad. Like, I'm not overly pushed getting them right now. Like, later on in the season, we're pretty good. So we'll, we'll have Dom completed pretty soon. We're on level 27 already, so we're doing okay. 
Um, season 8 tip off, one limited game, that's not happening. We have five games using three Dark Matter players. Do, what do I, do I get him for 3,000 MT? Ooh, I can get Fat Lever. Off oh, 50 more MT XP. I can get Fat Lever by applying a contract to a player. Chat. Add a player. Apply contracts. Chat, you can go get your... And now we can go get our... Uh, we can go get our Fat Lever. Do any Fat Lever is a particularly good card? No. But he's, again, he's one, he's a Opal, two, he's contract fodder. Um, he's a perfectly fine player to have in our team. I don't think anyone's really going to be that annoyed having to have a Fat Lever in their team. I, I'm on the wrong system. I'm on the wrong damn system. That was annoying. But I'm actually not, I'm actually not going to touch clutch time today. I'm not going to touch clutch time today. That's a, that's a straight up lie. So I'm go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two clutch time games now. Then we're going to go and play some Dom. Going to go play two clutch time games now, play some Dom. And then play a little bit of, a little bit of clutch time afterwards. So, um, Pimp Domination, I'm not playing, I said I was going to play three Dom games today. I'm not going to do that. I'll play, play these two Dom games today. So we're going to play two, probably two clutch time games, two Dom games, two clutch, clutch time games. So, I'm going to give, they don't want to give a run out to a point guard. Dice Dice is so much better on defense. Oh. I know Shaq is kind of annoying me. I'm gonna go with a weird lineup. I'm just gonna go all out offense. Do I? I man, I love Chad. Freaking power forward though. Who who who's mobile enough? Like I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna go hit him at center. Shaq's release is annoying me. As good as Shaq is. I'm actually Bobby Port as a run. I wanna say I actually think Bobby Port is might might be an alright player. Just for this, these two games, but it's a nothing game. If I lose this game, it doesn't matter. And this is a meaning game one is a meaningless, meaningless game. So if I lose game one because of using Bobby Portis, I'm really just indifferent to that. I'm really, really indifferent to that, to be honest. So we're gonna try, we'll go for two minutes looking for a game. If we can't find him two minutes, we're just gonna go and type in the locker code then get out the domination. We got 70% glitched. Oh no, we didn't. Yes, we did. Oh, we're getting lost for that. We're getting a freaking loss for that, which is annoying. I love Xbox, man. I love Xbox so much. I love Xbox so much. I've never, that, that error happens once a damn year on PlayStation. It happens every day on Xbox, at least once. Same dude again, I think. So he's got Mark Williams, we got Bobby Portis. We got Bobby Portis in just for his shooting. And we also... Um, purely because I suck without 5 out. My whole game plan is based on 5 out. Uh, we actually hit corner. That's contested. Unlucky. Okay. So, we're so late on that. We've just given him a wide open three. My fault. My fault. And we got a wide open three there. Bobby Portis, who knocks it down. Come on. That's what you're in there instead of Shaq. I mean, a crazy, crazy decision, but he's the... He's the center I feel most comfortable shooting the ball with. I don't mind if he mashes me inside and takes the twos. He's going to hit them shots, sure, but... Oh, what the hell is the, happened to Luca there? Give me that. I don't know where the 24% was there, but... It's good defense by him, I guess. 
Okay, come on. Press. Press. This guy was chatting chat right here. Beat him up, beat him up. Beat him up, just get that bump animation. That bump animation, he's so far gone out of play. Terrible shot. My boy, run. Wide open. Hit him with that. Try fade. Easy. Come on. We take the lead. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I didn't think he was going to thought that. I was. I literally was on him. Before he threw that pass, I was on him. So I was like, oh, he's not dumb enough to throw that pass. Nope. He threw it and he, he read me like a damn book. We got a wide open shot from Chet again off a of, off of pop. Let's go. Chat's gonna cover the inside, and Chat's gonna cover the corner as well. Good. Nope, he's, we got him, we got him, we got him. Stand. Bobby Portis. Bobby freaking Portis, man. Learn something new every day. I mean, he maybe he's the clutch time reward for a damn reason, I guess. And we get a wide open shot there with Dyson Daniels to take a four point lead. Let's go, Chat. Got him, fade. Easy. Come on, we're taking the two point lead right back. I'm gonna lie, this game has been very, very. This has been a very fun game. Cause this dude's kind of good. He's not too good. That's annoying, but he's good enough. I was about to say neither of us have really just exploited the damn freaking AI, but nope, he goes and does it. As we go right down, shoot with Gerald Wallace, who somehow gets contested. Oh, Dan Dyson Daniels drops the ball. Dyson Daniels. Oh my god, what was he trying to do there? At least we're gonna take a one-point lead. But Gerald Wallace with the contest, like got contested by the by a freaking ghost right there. Commit up. We can live with him taking twos. I know he still he still probably thinks oh it's the lead, but nope. How is Luca doing that to me? It's power within Luca. Give me that. That's not a contest. It's my board corner. Fake. You read me to you read me like a damn book. Clip him. Try fade. We're there. No, we landed that side. A ball should not have gone to him. He's in position. He's in position. He's in position. Oh, that's not. I didn't want. Not want the ball in his hands there. I want the ball in the other hand. I'll take that. I'll take that. He's gonna get his scores though, so he's gotta be gotta be safe with this. I love how even when I turned off the coaching, and off takes me out of the press at random times. Whatever. Oh, I threw myself so out of play. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's going nowhere. Chat Holmgren with the block. Let's run. Bobby Portis. He's there on the pop. Bobby Portis rolls hard and we throw it into Harden's hands. No. No. That's two losses. Bricked it. And the game won't let me call time out. Good chat. Good chat. Smart move. Okay, so we're, we're on to the Dom grind. I'll see you in a bit, lads. I'm not making you watch me just play domination. If you guys want to know what I do for the damn grind, this is literally it. This is literally how you have to beat Dom. You can run with a bum squad. You don't need anyone good. I'm not even being serious. I'm being dead serious. You don't even need re particularly great players. You need guys that can shoot. You need guys that can shoot, and that's literally it. So... You need two players, be a stamina issues. I will always say you need two players instead of one player. Two players that can just blow by their opponents. Basically, you need a stun. You need players with a stun animation. Something that can a stun animation is like the pro three behind the back, or say that Scotty behind the back, or the Kobe size up. The, oh, what they do is they stun the defender. Um. And then you just need five out shooters. So Bucks 2018 freelance is 
is the go-to. That's the in general, like that's normally the um, the go-to when it comes to five out. It's quickest because you don't need to call pass and screen away. It auto sets up in the five out. Pretty much every time it'll automatically set up into it. So um, give me that. Nope. Defense doesn't matter. You can give you can give a two in every possession. You're gonna score a three on the bat. You're gonna score on almost every possession. So. Like, man, there was a game where Jared Dudley had 30 for me. That goes in, doesn't matter, literally. Go freelance. Bucks 2018. If they're not leaving the key, go pass the screen away, pull back. And that also stuns the defense defender's feet as well. And just anyone that can score. They're going to give you that the entire game. Trust me, that's all you have to do. So, lads, we're playing the unlimited game. Here's all the unlimited rewards. We are 10867 ahead. People saying, oh, your tactic doesn't work, your tactic doesn't work. I mean, it works for me. <laughs> I'm 20 of 24 from three. 44. 44. We're 49 from the field. With uh Let's take a look at the box score. With Dyson Daniels with 26. With Jared Dudley with 15. Tiny Davis with 13, Kevin Love with 12, Shaquille O'Neal with 3, or 13, sorry with 12 as well, Duncan Robinson 9, Chris Middleton 8, Ben McElmore 6, Kobe 4, and I'm bare like 5 of 5 from 3, Jared Dudley. Come on now. Come on now. It's just too easy. It's just too easy, literally. There are two ways I can like, stun the defense with this lineup here. And that's not how I do it. So I'm in the half court. This is how you get stunned. This animation here, you see they get up out of their feet. The defender gets up out of his defense as we chuck it. We barely miss it the whole game, then we go miss two in a row there. Um, Maybe three in a row? Nope, we green with row cup. But yeah, that animation there, or the behind the back. The Kobe the Kobe size up stuns the AI. So if somebody's all, ever off balling you, literally just go and do a Kobe size up on them. Their feet will be stunned, and you're going to be able to every time so we scored 111 points on hall of fame difficulty against what was like invincible grand hill finley cincy pal bob nedelicki a good team but if you're gonna score every single possession because you stun the defense's feet it really doesn't matter it really does not matter there so one two one six total there we go. So we've got like one. We played two games today. We didn't play all three of them. We were. Uh, it's 3.28 in the morning. I'd rather not do that. If we're being completely honest here. At 3.28 in the morning. There are not much that. Much things that I would rather not do. Like. There are not much things. That. I want to do less. Than playing our domination game right now. He is like. I have an eight again. I'm gonna eat when I. I'm gonna go downstairs. Eat. This video is gonna go go about five a.m. or something. But again, we got ten games left. We had ten of the thirty-three, so we're through twenty-three games. Are we? So you know, we're through twenty-four games. Sorry, it's eight games left. Is it? Nine games left. Three. Eight, nine. We got nine games left. Sorry, I'm struggling to count. I'm not tired. <laughs> not gonna lie. So all these things are annoying. These like just random courts and stuff. So um, yeah, let's go to locker code. And the worst thing was is that like the Fourth of July locker code. I don't understand why it wasn't for a dark matter player like this makes no sense whatsoever like they gave us all these like last time again we got a free galaxy like we got a better locker coat for at the end of 250k with the last time we did limited time locker codes 250k um that was the last time we actually got a better locker coat and they were like no limited quantity for this. Like who the hell cares? So we got a choice. We got 20 something badge packs that are going to sell for 500 each. 
Anything but the half badge, I'm not gonna lie. Anything but the half badge. Um, I'm actually gonna drop to try get the tokens. I'm gonna drop here. There's six tokens there. Anything but the. I don't even mind the 76 token. I don't even mind that, to be honest. I'm cool with the 76 tokens. I'm cool with 89 tokens. Not gonna lie. I'm, I meant I drop for tokens, but I hope I get the badge, half badge back, or the diamond contract pack. But diamond contract packs are so cheap right now. And you guys saw it. On diamond contract guys, you're seeing 30, you're seeing 10,000 T for diamond contract. Like, we had a like we were selling our diamond contracts for twenty one thousand MT, like not even a week ago. But you're out here at nine thousand MT for diamond contracts. Like this is a ludicrous price. I don't see them ever going back above fifteen k again. Just that I don't ever see them go back above fifteen k. But eight and a half k for a diamond contract is grim. That is absolutely grim. And it's not worth anything. Whereas at least I'm sitting here on 381 tokens. So this is one of the worst value things ever. 200 tokens for nothing more than likely. Unless you get staff, it's not really worth it. Hmm. Hmm. 10 tokens for one Jordan Shaq colorway. Or for one Shaq colorway. My collection. Shoes. Where's Reebok? Don't have any Reebok. Shackadak. Consumables. Shoe cards. Brand. Reebok. What price can we get a damn Reebok shoe for? Color diamond. If I can get 15k off one of them, I'll take it. No, the Reebok Shack Attack shoes in there. I mean, if I can get 5k for one of these, I'll still take that. I'll still take 10 toes for 5k. Um, surely. Surely I can get something quite... I can do okay with that one. Token Market. Give me a Shack Attack 4. I also kind of want to put a shoe on my shack, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to put a shoe on my shack. Let's put him up for... Definitely not that. Oh no, I just realized, I read what this does. Oh no, this is the worst shoe ever. Oh no, this is like the worst shoe ever. Oh, I didn't realize the boosts were already on the shoe. I'm making a loss. This is the worst shoe ever. No wonder it was so cheap. This is the damn worst shoe ever. Who who made like what? I didn't even look. What psychopath made this shoe? What psychopath wasted an expensive shoe on plus two pass Q, plus two draw of metal, <laughs> plus two defense rebound, plus one passing vision, and plus one hands? What psychopath made this shoe? I'm sorry, there's no other way to describe the person who made this shoe. What psychopath made this shoe? To be able to give him every Hall of Fame badge I can. That's not like a dumb one. Like, I don't need half on strip for Okay, Let's give him half brick wall. Let's give him half clutch shooter. Half difficult shots. He's my, he's my guy. Like, he is half glue hands. As, as juiced as I can make Gerald Wallace. I will make Gerald Wallace as juiced as I can make Gerald Wallace. Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. Space Creator Hall of Fame. I'm cool with these because there are guys that might need those badges more. How many badges do we have right now on our... We have 36 half badge Gerald Wallace. So, this guy's playing my team at 3am, which either means bot or god. He's using Mike Conley. I think we're looking more likely not bot because he has got one player on his team above six foot seven. 
Like, it is a case of, if you've ever played this game at 3 a.m., It's especially in Europe, it's bot or god. And he gets a wide open off that. All right, it's 3 a.m. Mick, you're good. Just don't need it. Panic. And you can hit a wide open three-point shot there for take a two-point lead. There we go. His name is Built Not Bought. You better believe this team was built not bought. You better believe my team more than anyone's was built not bought. But, um... You gotta play some defense, Jabari Smith. You've shown no ability whatsoever to guard ball. And even make things difficult for my opponent. No. Big win. Big win. Honestly, freaking Gerald Wallace time. It was Gerald Wallace time. I'm not gonna lie, I've been sitting here for eight minutes, so I think we're done. I think we are done, so. The Shack Attack 4, so we made a loss. Some poor individual just made, made the same mistake I did. Some poor, poor individual made the exact same mistake I did. I think I might get Jaron Jackson Jr. tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie. I think I might just for the lulls. What price are Grizzlies players? Because if I get Grizzlies players like 4k, I might just buy Jaron Jackson Jr. I already have two Grizzlies players, I don't care if I give up. And I'm going to put it out there right now. Putting a card into the exchange is not the same as selling it. I have five Grizzlies players. I don't want to pay six six K for Grizzlies. Uh, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do it for the content, lads. For the content, screw it. Screw it, it's all for the con. I got 300 tokens and like 80 badges, man. I got I got more than enough I can sell. Culvert. I bought four, I think. I need to buy all these. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a stupid amount. Stupid amount of cards. Always Galaxy Opal. I'm gonna get the cheapest Galaxy Opals I can find. There were Galaxy Opals on their 5k a while ago. Okay, so we're buying him a 5k. I'm gonna sell my DeRozan as well because he's worth nothing. He's worth nothing. We're we're actually doing this, man. Um, oh man, not gonna lie, this is, this is a, this is crazy even for me, this is for the damn content, I need a, this is for the, I don't want to put Jabari Smith on my damn, um, thumbnail, for these eight Grizzlies players. Out of the exchange. Eight Grizzlies players, five power forwards. We're gonna go exchange. Giants Jr., five power forwards. No, do not put him in. All the Spurs guys. All the Spurs guys can be sent to the go to the into this. Okay, so we've got four. We have another. Yeah, we have another Spurs player. So I'm gonna. I'll get rid of Kurt Rambis. They definitely don't need Spurs players for anything. That works, I think. With these two, Calvin Johnson, Kata Bates Diop, and Tyrone Hill. Here are my five power forwards. And. Okay, here we go. 
you have to be hovering over one and press square button. Okay. And Grizzlies players, we should have ordered in him two, three, four, yeah, five, six. Let's get rid of the three of these. Let's make sure, well, get rid of all these. Make sure I don't get rid of Rudy Gay. And two Galaxy Oval players. Let me put up DeRozan, who I don't want. And Thurl, who we just bought. I'll take that. We over, we obviously massively overspent. Like we bought six Grizzlies players at. We bought five. We bought six Grizzlies players at six cage. I actually don't even know anything about this Jaron Jackson Jr. card. I know n almost nothing about him. His stats are basically perfect. His badges are perfect. Perfect on defense. Six eleven. Comes with quick dribble style. This is one oh nine. Normally, like, he's actually really damn good. He might, he might play. Not gonna lie. A worst case scenario, he makes the B team. Like he might play. I like at least if I get reset, I'm not gonna be as annoyed as if I get reset in a hundred. And I'd rather spend like my thirty. I'd rather spend thirty five k on on cards. I'd rather spend thirty five k on a on an interesting card for a video. In Jaron Jackson Jr. I'd much rather do that because Jaron Jackson Jr. is a pretty good card, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna go and obviously sell Thurl for a five six hundred because I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he just wouldn't go into the exchange. So he he probably like he definitely doesn't make my 30 days team, but he did makes the B team. Makes the B team at that backup center position. Like you look at him, and he's got like perfect stats. I don't like dunk, which doesn't matter that much. His badges wise in the 50 halves, like. And obviously there are cards. There are like Kobe and Shaq cards that are cheaper and better. Like if I'm out here using like a little bit annoyed at him. Um, if I'm out here a little bit annoyed at what's his name's release. Jacks to the extent that I won't use him. Jaron Jackson Jr. is perfectly fine. He's got a nice big player build. Like he might, he might freaking play center for me in clutch time. He wouldn't play if I was running my main squad. He actually might play clutch time center. Like using Bobby Portis there. I know shooting early, sir. This release isn't that bad. I don't even know if he bursts fast as I'm on current gen. He does have a super fast behind the back though, which is good. The player build is really nice. I'm just really struggling the green with him. Really struggling to find that green window. Could be because it's 3 a.m. Could be because it's a hard green window to find. But um Yeah, like. As long as he can hit, it doesn't matter. Green with a read doesn't matter. He's like a more mobile, smaller Mobamba. And his movement's actually really nice. I have to admit, I do like this card. I do like the way he feels. So he could be a really, really good card. I'll probably do a video on him tomorrow, not gonna lie. He could actually be, a like he's not worth 30K, but still. I don't mind doing exchanges, not gonna lie, especially with this series because I can't sell my cards. I never said anything about not being able to put them into the exchanges. So, uh, yeah, not a bad way of getting rid of some of the dead weight. So, yeah, not bad at all. Let's be real, not bad. So, anyway, yeah, that is the video, lads. I am exhausted. Sorry, this wasn't the most like hectic episode. I'm freaking exhausted. But one good one thing that we do have though is nearly 400 tokens. And I'm going to be spending most of my stream tomorrow literally just selling badges. I just have so many badges to sell. Like, we're bound to get some really expensive badges with these 400 tokens. And, like, the 400 tokens we should be able to turn into, like, at worst, like, 75, 80 KMT. Man, I hate these just worth. I hate just these worthless freaking things in packs. But anyway, yeah. 
pretty much it. Our B team is looking pretty damn good as well. Honestly, I reckon I probably would run with this. Probably go like this. Uh, nah, Ferry and Ferry and him and Nance belong. Like my B team is looking freaking good. The guys that don't even make my team. I'm telling you, if 15 days in you told me I had a squad like this, I'd say, you know what, not bad at all. But we got this team, lads. We're doing well. We're doing well. So, in that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.